welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Mariama. I'm a fashion and beauty photographer based in New York City. Last year, when the pandemic hit, I bought myself my very own Sony camera. In less than a year, my work has been featured on a billboard in Times Square. I've been published in a magazine twice, and I've more than 5X'd my initial investment on this camera. In this video, I'll show you how I built a great portfolio in less than a year and how you can do the same and finally start attracting the clients you really want to work with. Before we get started, let me just prefix this by saying your portfolio is a never ending thing. You'll always be wanting to add, subtract, and update. So this is just to get you started. Find inspo to help you nurture your style. This is the first thing that I did. I went to tons of photographers' websites, I went on Pinterest, and I gathered inspiration from different poses, different editing styles, different looks, different photography styles, from product photography, fashion photography, landscape, editorials, commercials, all to see what really resonated with me and what really got me excited. I knew fashion was it and fashion was something that I loved, but this really helped me narrow down my niche. And even now I'm still narrowing down even more. Having a basis or a foundation to get you started can really help in the long run and give you a sense of direction. Ask your friends and family to model for you. These are the people that you are the closest to and that you're most comfortable with. When I first got started, I took a lot of pictures of my friend Crystal and my sister Ayana. This really helped me gain confidence behind the camera and it gave me a space to play with the inspiration from tip number one and really figure out different poses, different styles, and really see what it is that I like. Just let them know you're getting started building your photography portfolio and you would love for them to be your first subject. And guys, really just try to have fun with this. This is the initial steps to getting comfortable with your camera and really building a great portfolio. Get on Instagram and slide in some DMs. When I first started, I went to the NYC models hashtag and I just went under that hashtag. I just went scrolling through people and I DM'd anybody that I would want to photograph. You get to use this model, this person as your inspiration or as your muse. And in exchange, they get photos for their portfolio or for their Instagram. But you would be surprised how many people actually responded, how many people are actually down. Everybody needs photos these days. So even if it's not a model, a lot of people would be open to shooting with you if you show them you know a little bit of what you did with your friends and family and just show them the inspiration and the vibes that you're going for it's really not as hard as you think you just have to reach out a lot of people are willing to help and willing to collaborate invest in personal projects this is the best thing that I ever did. I wouldn't suggest you do this until you've done the first few steps just because it takes a lot of time and a lot of money to put together your own project. But this can really give you the freedom to create whatever it is that your heart desires. This can give you the freedom to create the work that you would like to be sourced for in the future. And when I say putting together a project and the reason why this is not just like reaching out to DM somebody to set up a portrait session outside, but when it comes to these personal projects, you really want to put in the time and the concentrated effort. You want to have a makeup artist, you want to have a stylist, you want to have a team of people so that you can really take your personal projects to the next level and really attract those big name clients. Big photographers, they work with a team, so you should get used to operating and being with people and directing people and really putting your heart into something and creating the vision that's in your head. I think it's excellent practice and it's also excellent work for your portfolio. After you've gathered your work. Now, this is truly where the real work is because now you have to build an online website. Find 
a host for your website, find a domain name for your website. And this may take a little time to figure out exactly your style. Like, do you want it to scroll sideways? Do you want it to scroll down? Do you want to show multiple pictures of the same set? Do you want to just show one picture? Do you want it to be a gallery? Like, there's a lot of things that go into this, but I think just like looking at other photographers' websites and getting inspiration, not copying completely, but getting inspiration from their setup and the way they do things and their overall branding can really help you when it comes to building out this amazing website because your website is your portfolio. If you don't have a website, you don't have a business. And honestly, when companies are looking for you or looking for photographers, they are going to your website and that's gonna be the first thing that they see so you really want it to be spectacular. Okay guys, that's all I got for today. If you found this video valuable, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. Go ahead and leave a link to your portfolio down below. Or if you end up trying these tips, please come back and show me your portfolio. I would love to see it. And I'm wishing everybody the best of luck. There's more than enough clients, money, and everything for all of us. Until next time.